Hello guys, this is FairBinaryOptions.com and we are continuing our mini educational series on um, FairBinaryOptions.com another Binary Options Academy project and we'd like to introduce you a fairly simple concept when counting waves or when analyzing markets this concept is being called a zigzag so under the category what is a zigzag I would like to show you um, one of the most beautiful corrective waves of them all. The thing is that, or the let's say the um, beautiful thing, comes from the fact that such a pattern normally is a pattern that allows a uh, trader to make the distinction between a zig uh, between an impulsive move and a corrective wave. And like in any corrective wave, the key stays with the B wave. Now I would like to go uh, first and show you the theory or to, s to show you the uh, theoretical part for such a pattern and whenever trading you sh and looking at markets you should imagine that we have only three um, corrective waves either a zigzag or a flat or a triangle. That's it. Now combination of the three can also be the case but either a zigzag or a flat or a triangle. A flat looks like this and a zigzag looks like this or a triangle looks like this a contracting triangle which is the most common one looks like this but a zigzag looks like this. Now what is the difference between a flat like this, this one here and a zigzag? Well the, the difference or the key in any zigzag or flat stays with the B wave, with the potential B wave. First of all, being a corrective wave it is labeled with letters and not numbers so this would be wave A and we put it here, let's make it a blue like this so this would be wave A then this to be the B wave and of course this to be the C wave to the downside A and B and C you have to remember one thing that in a zigzag like in a flat as well but in a zigzag the key stays or in corrective waves the, B, the key stays with the B wave or in other words the retracement level for the B wave and there are some specific rules for this retracement level for the B wave so the first rule or the first thing to look for is that wave B so the B wave should not retrace beyond 61.8 percent so this is mandatory in any but in any um, zigzag and um, this is one thing to remember how can we uh, look at that and how can we establish that? Well the logical thing to do is to take a Fibonacci retracement. The Fibonacci retracement tool is available on any trading platform. This is the J4X trading platform but on MetaTrader as well as Fibonacci's are quite uh, quite common all over the place. So this to be from here to here like this. You measure the length of wave A and you see where the B wave ends or where the B wave goes it is mandatory for the B wave not to end more than 61.8 so this is the first and the crucial um, condition the second condition would be that the if the B wave is not retracing more than 61.8 then wave A's so let's say the second wave the second condition would be that waves a and C should be, should, must be impulsive moves. What does it mean impulsive wave? It means that of a lower degree they should be labeled or they should be formed out of five wave structure. It means that this one here has a one and two and three and four and a five wave structure. It means that this one here, the C wave, will have a one and oh, let me take a polyline we'll have a five-way structure as uh, as well and it goes from here to go with 
one and second wave and the third wave and the fourth and the fifth and there you go you have another five wave structure now the structure of the B wave needs to be corrective in the three waves uh, in the three waves structure but doesn't necessarily mean that the, that the three wave structure is uh, only an ABC maybe a complex correction or um, uh, a double uh, a double combination or a triple combination or stuff like that so the B wave should not retrace beyond 61.8 waves A and C should be impulsive waves and it is mandatory for the B wave to retrace at least 1% what to remember here is that the zigzag has a couple of characteristics. It is channeling too well. So whenever you see a move that is channeling too well, there is no impulsive move because channeling happens only in zigzags, not in impulsive moves. And the fourth thing to consider here is that this one is the only corrective wave. So it is the only corrective wave that resembles impulsive activity and just like that we have a couple of rules four rules here for what a zigzag may look like 535 structure the B wave should not retrace more than 61.8 waves A and C should be impulsive channeling too well and it looks like an uh, it looks like uh, an impulsive activity so these are the rules these are the this is the theory for a zigzag let's go and take a look at some uh, at some examples on this australian dollar us dollar that we have on the daily chart and this would come on the second part so don't go anywhere let's look at the second part for some examples on zigzags